We just did the video and had the conversation about the people tanning with the melanin shots getting extremely dark. And it was someone in the comment section, Jesus is life 9259. And they commented that that husband wish it was a shot that would do the reverse. Well, it's not a shot, but they have some creams. Hey guys, so it ain't no joke. When I get white, when I get white, 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 use our products. No joke. Nigga, please. What it look like, TV? I am back. What it do, baby? YouTube's own Varnell Hill. Did ya miss me? Your very own spokesman for the insidians. We inside and we comfortable. We're comfortable. And I'm back with another one, man. And today we are gonna get into the wild world of skin bleaching. Wanna get white? Now, full disclosure, cause you know I keep it real with y'all. Probably too real, cause y'all always throw it back up in my face in the comment section. Back off me, man, back off. But when I did the one on tanning, I was in the back of my mind like, White people, yay! White people having fun. Global domination over everyone. And then once again, the light, TikTok, TikTok, showed me this. How are you still single? first thing that came to my mind was that's the same weird skin color that Michael Jackson was. And then I scrolled down a couple of times and I came across this. If any of you out there don't know how TikTok works, TikTok! If you watch a handful of videos, you get thrown into that algorithm section of TikTok. And I was thrown in. And that's when I got the knowledge that this is large in Africa, this is large in the Philippines, this is large in Japan, this is large all around the world. People are bleaching their skin. As you can see, they so wild cowboy with it down in the Philippines. That they testing this stuff on the arms of little children. I'm telling you, that baby could be the star of a show called Babies I Don't Care About. Like I said, it's all over the world. As you can see, they trying to obtain a milk white complexion in Japan. They trying to totally get white in Japan. Milk has an expiration date. But let's see the top five countries in Africa where this is prevalent. The top five African countries where women bleach their skin to look white. Number five is Mali. It is the fifth highest recorder of skin bleaching cases in Africa continent, although harmful is slowly catching up with men, leaving the government very worried. Number 4 is Senegal. One of the top fashion secrets in Senegal is to have lighter skin to complement your character and to find men crawling at your feet. Number 3 is Togo. The World Health Organization report indicates that 29% of the female population in Togo are practicing skin bleaching. Number 2 is South Africa. It is no surprise that South Africa makes the list. The country has 35% of its black women surrendering to the need for lighter skin and thus purchasing bleaching products of all kind. Standing tall on the number one list is Nigeria, the West African country with over 200 million people. 
The country not only tops Africa, but tops the worldwide list with 77% of its female population. Practicing skin bleaching. The jokes are going to continue on, but for this moment right here, that's extremely, extremely sad. Uh, what are you doing? 77% of the women in Nigeria are bleaching their skin. This is nothing but. So it makes me totally understand why I started coming across little clips like this. Let's act mature. All of us here, we are a big people. Let's act mature. All of us here, we are a big people. When I saw they was making little funny clips and jokes about why people are questioning why they're bleaching, I knew that this is a lifestyle for them. But what exactly is this skin bleaching cream? This skin bleaching cream is pretty much reminiscent to a body perm if you ask me if you look at the process. What I just tell y'all, y'all gotta mix that stuff together like it's some type of perm. <laughs> Shit, that ain't nothing but ultra perm. Anytime you end up with a cream and you gotta mix it together and the stuff look like this. Bleaching cream. Bleaching cream. I told y'all the stuff looked just like perm, man. Huh? And on a side note, I hope none of my sisters are out there still perming your hair. Come on now, we all know that it's poison. But anyway, let's take a look at a few international people that has taken this transformation and expected the general public not to notice. This is the dangers of skin bleaching. A lot of people use it, but are unaware of some of the harmful ingredients. Did you see that? Yeah. If you're not bleaching, you're not saying nothing. If you're bleaching, turn up the thing. What? So when you bleach, it makes you look more nicer, look more sexier, and look more cuter than you was. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Many countries have banned the use of skin bleaching products because of the dangers associated with them. Hydroquinone. In most of these bleaching creams, the hydroquinone percentage are not stated. 2 to 4% is considered safe. At these creams be having as much as 13%. When abused and used for a long period of time, with other ingredients such as mercury, it can damage your liver and kidneys cause cell mutation. Even skin cancer. It gets worse, y'all. Worse? How can they get any worse? You know anything you could buy in a store? It's a DIY process that you could do at home, right? Instant lightning for body and sensitive area. Baking soda. Lemon juice. Mix. Coconut oil, starch, rose water, yogurt. Mix then let it sit for 5 minutes. Apply a thick layer. Wash after 15 minutes. Results from first use. People are really out here doing everything they could possibly do in their power to get a little bit whiter. I'm white. It's crazy. But let's look at some of the side effects to your skin and the trying to pull this procedure off, especially if you're darker skin. Let's see what you end up with in most cases. Side effects of using Cara White. Dark knuckles. Sunburn. Ew, girl. Ew. Stretch marks. Permanent skin damage. Yeah. 
putting medical grade peroxide on your skin every day no matter how much moisturizer that you put on it you're going to just destroy your skin yeah yeah and if you don't destroy your skin everywhere where it's folds in your skin like your knuckles and places like that that's not going to whiten like everything else and you're going to be walking around looking weird It's sad, man. Not really. Hands look eternally dirty now. And if you look at her and you saw her complexion, she wasn't a bad complexion. She was a beautiful girl and went and totally destroyed her skin for no reason. I don't think these people really realize the undertaking that bleaching your whole skin is. My man is going to kind of break it down for y'all. If you plan on bleaching your skin, make sure you bleach everything, including your neck, your knuckles, and your knees, and even your lip. You see, I, I could talk about it because I once walked around with a bleached out face and a black everything, a black ass neck at that. Keep that a secret. <laughs> and I'm not promoting skin bleaching, but if you're gonna do it, just bleach everything because it looks ridiculous. It does. I remember when I went to Jamaica in 2017, I saw this lady at the airport and the center of her face, it was like clear. It wasn't even like a color. It was like she bleached so much it was clear. And her neck was like, it was like tar. It was like super black. You see, when I bleached my skin when I was 12, it was by accident. But when I see this big grown art fierce woman, I thought to myself, wait, was this accidental or did you purposely bleach out the middle of your face and left everything black? Like, don't ask me dumb questions, man. Was this the look that you're going for? Are you a possum? Are you going for the possum look? If you want to look like a possum, the more power to you, okay? My man let his Jamaican accent slip out at the end. Easy Rasta. On TikTok, I came front. I came across a lot of videos of Jamaicans really knee deep into this skin bleaching, man. This young boy almost burnt his face off messing with the skin bleaching stuff. He can't have any adults in his life to let him do that. He needed a little Mr. T in his life. Where Mr. T at? Mr. T! It'll burn your face right off. Thank you, Mr. T. You was a little late. He probably could have used that probably before he did that to his face. But there's some other people out there that need that. We're going to get into one more testimonial before we get out of here. Let's get into the testimonial. I attempted to bleach my skin in 2020. This was after someone saw my pictures and said that I was too dark. We all know that men are idiots and I just wanted to blow by all means. So a family friend who was into organic products gifted me a whitening set and I started using them. After a few days, my skin was doing like all the spots on my face as cleared. And in my mind, I was glowing and I continued using the product. After that set finished, I got another one. And this time she gave me the snow white set. You kidding me? and I stay using it. After a few weeks, I could no longer recognize my skin. I had a lot of dark patches and uneven skin tone. And I decided to focus on the dark parts and I stay applying the product only on the dark parts. But it started getting worse. And my skin became so thin that you could even see my green veins. People were still complimenting me that I was growing. Lies! The lies! But the only person that told me the truth was my other sister. So I stopped using the product and started applying moisturizers. It took a long time for my skin to heal. I started having a lot of acne breakouts due to the product. This is why I hate skin bleaching. The disadvantage is far outweighs the benefit. So if you are still bleaching your skin today, please stop. I only have one thing to say after that whole testimonial. They sold you the Snow White kit? The Snow White kit? You playing with me, right? It's Africans out there as brown as me buying the Snow White kit? Yo, man, y'all got to get it together, man. Y'all got to look in the mirror and do some soul searching, man. Us black Americans get kicked in our back a whole lot internationally for being this or being that. But one thing that we are consistently is black. But anyway, y'all hit me up in the comments section to tell me how y'all feel about this one. Yeah, I got to keep the same energy, y'all. I got to be consistent over here, man. Like I said, it was clownish when they was changing their color with the Milano tan. So it's clownish that you getting the Snow White kit or you getting the Cairo White kit and you trying to change your complexion. 
It's corny for the Africans. It's corny for the Filipinos. It's corny for the Japan people that want to be milk white. Man, you corny! Be yourself out there. Being yourself is okay. And trying to change your skin, man. Your skin is your biggest organ, man. Stop playing with it. Because once you mess that up, and you start having those major issues, knock that top layer off, and you can't go in the sun no more. You're going to see exactly what it feels like not to be black no more. But anyway, like I said, y'all hit me up in the comment section. Tell me how y'all feel about this one. If you done made it to this point in the video, you are my MVP. It was a stone groove, my man. I'm out of here.